Hey everybody, Korkan here, and this is my review of Murder on the Orient Express, directed by Kenneth Branagh. And a uh, huge cast of people in here that you can see. We got Kenneth Branagh, Penelope Cruz, William Defoe, Judy Dench, Johnny Depp, Josh Gad, Leslie Odom Jr., Michelle Pfeiffer, Daisy Ridley. Huge cast. Huge cast of a lot of really good actors. And uh, I thought they all did a very good job. And there were a couple of surprises that I'll talk about in a minute. They're constricted by the story that were given from Agatha Christie. This is based on an Agatha Christie novel. And it was turned into a film two other times that I'm, I can remember. Uh, my favorite, though, is David Suchet. I love his version of Hercule Poirot. I used to watch that on PBS all the time when I was younger. I loved his version. So whenever I think of Poirot, I think of David Suchet. I was a little worried I wouldn't be able to see Kenneth Branagh as Hercule Poirot, but he did a great job, and he's the best part of the movie. But the way that those stories were written by Agatha Christie is the characters are kind of introduced really quickly. There's not much of a lead-in for each character. It's like, here they are. My name is so-and-so. This is me. Blah, blah, blah. And they do that in the movie. I would have preferred maybe adjusting a little bit of that. I know that you want to be true to the source material, and you should. But the characters did feel kind of thrown at you. I'm not quite sure how they could have changed that or what they would have done, but maybe a, a softer introduction for some of the characters. However, it was... Very quick, near the beginning, we get to see everybody, and then the story continues. So it's not a big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. doesn't really affect my score too much. What really stood out to me in this movie is the production value. I am a huge fan of period pieces. I like seeing the stuff in the background, like how much detail did they go into in stuff that you would... Props and scenery and costumes and the architecture all that stuff this movie nailed it i was floored and blown away by the production value of this movie now they built a whole train on set and they made it one big set and i love that they did that because they had a lot of long one takes where the camera would just follow someone walking through corridors or between cars i love those kind of things Plus, it really gives scale to your movie, makes you feel like you're actually there. And everything in the background looks like it was handmade for the that time period. Like, it feels like it fit there. All of the clothes have a great weight to it. You can feel the, the fabrics. All of the props look like they came straight out of the uh, 1920s and 30s. I mean, everything looks proper it looks real it looks great i would love to see a behind the scenes tour on a on the blu-ray or whatever where we just go through and look at all of the nooks and crannies i think one of the harry potter movies i know this is a weird thing to throw in here but one of the harry potter movies had a dvd extra where you could do like a a tour where you click and and say where you want the camera to go and they basically just took pictures of everything on set and then you could just go up and look at a certain piece of the set I would love something like that for this movie where I could like zoom in and click on an area and just see everything that was on set in that section like the, all of the glasses and the alcohol bottles at the bar with the designs that were on the table. Because they got really detailed in this movie. And you could get lost in just all of the eye candy of looking everything that was in the production. So that really, it really impressed me. The story, it's predictable. But it's because I've seen it multiple times. It's based on a popular novel. So it's not like... A murder mystery that you don't know the ending you know the ending if you're aware of any of that stuff if you don't know the ending it might surprise you a bit but it's I still think it's if you didn't know anything you could probably figure it out but because it's a you know it's a novel that's been turned into a movie and with any known property turned into a movie you have to stay faithful to your source material and they did 
all of the characters, their lines of dialogue felt like it was from the novel. Kenneth Branagh does always does a great job of translating literature into film, sometimes a little too faithful, which is weird to say because one of my big complaints for a lot of movies is they basically ignored the source material. <laughs> And here I am saying you might have been just a little too faithful and it might have been better if you tweaked and changed a little bit here or there just to make some characters not feel thrown in. Uh, not that they were shoehorned in, but that their characters just felt thrown on screen or they had one thing to say because they had to or they just happened to be at this location because they needed more screen time, something like that. I would have liked more of a flow with some of these other characters. But there were other scenes where it flowed from one character to another very beautifully, and I liked that. It did feel a lot like a play, as if they had filmed a stage play. Nothing wrong with that. But you may want to have had utilized more of the film, being able to use the film aspect of it. I did like the stage feel just because of the production value. So I'm a little, I don't know, I'm iffy on that one. I guess that would be more up to your own taste. Do you prefer more of a Broadway stage feel to a story like this, or would you want more of a theatrical a dramatization? I think that's more up to the viewer. Some people would prefer one or the other. I liked it this way. I was very happy with this movie. But I do think it could have used a little bit more of the theatrical dramatization. Maybe a good mix of both I would have been happier with, but it did side more towards the Broadway stage acting. Some characters felt like they were kind of pushed to the side and they were only shown when they needed to be, but they weren't in the rest of the movie. All in all, I mean, the story was strong. I already knew it, though, because I was a fan of the David Suchet version. The production value was through the roof, and that made me super excited. I loved the the eye candy of just seeing everything on screen. Now, the two actors that surprised me in a good way were Kenneth Branagh and Johnny Depp. And the reason is, not that I think they're bad actors and they did a good job, <laughs> but Johnny Depp is known for odd characters strange characters and then making them even more strange and more odd so when i heard he was cast in this movie and seeing the short stuff in the trailers i was a little worried that he would take his character over the top to where it wouldn't fit in the rest of the film and thankfully he didn't do that he played it pretty much straight he did a great job and it fit the movie with all of the other characters perfectly well so i was happy with that Kenneth Branagh, I was worried that his accent would come off as silly and I wouldn't feel that he was uh, Hercule Poirot, just some guy playing him. And every time I think of that character, I think of David Suchet, who's a much different type of character. So in the trailer, they introduced all the characters and then you see Kenneth Branagh and he says in his accent, I'm the greatest probably the greatest detective in the world and he's got the big mustache and I was like ooh like it was but it hit you really hard in the trailer like it was like reveal in the movie they slowly brought you to it like they didn't just say here I am <laughs> you know they had an intro scene that kind of eased you in you you heard his accent first it was more of he was talking, other people were talking, then they kind of revealed the mustache, but in a humorous way and a nice cute interaction with this kid, and then he solves a crime. So by the time that the beginning sequence is done, I was on board with him as Hercule Poirot. I still think David's my favorite, but I was on board and it did a great job of getting me connected to him as the character so that for the rest of the movie, I didn't have to think about it. Kenneth Branda did a great job. And I hope that he is using this movie as a way of setting up to where he can do Hercule Poirot for other Agatha Christie novels. So I would like maybe a series to come out of this where he does another movie as Hercule Poirot. You know, just like they did with Tom Hanks for the Dan Brown books. I would like to see him as Poirot again in another Poirot story. But not... 
I don't want people to do a sequel to the Mor Murder on the Orient Express. I would want them to do the next book or another different book. Uh, and I think they did kind of set that up a little bit. So I would like to see that actually happen. I think after two or three movies, he would probably become equal with David Suchet, in my opinion. But I still love my David Suchet as Hercule Poirot. When I think of that name, that's the, vo that's the face that pops in my head. But all in all, the production value through the roof, I was in love with that. If you like props, you like scenery, if you like period pieces, you're going to go gaga over this movie. I thought the characters were very well acted, but felt like they were just thrown at you in the beginning and then only popped up when they were absolutely needed. I would have liked more of a, a smoother transition and natural feel of where all of the characters are and why they're there instead of it being like, my turn to talk. <laughs> Everybody did a great job. The movie moved pretty smooth story-wise. I'm going to give this a B+. Plus. But what did you guys think? Comment below and let me know your thoughts on the murder on the Orient Express. And what do you think about Kenneth Branagh maybe doing more Poirot films from Agatha Christie novels? And did you see the David Suchet ones? How do you think they compare? Or if you're not familiar at all, were you able to guess the ending? But no spoilers on this. Comment below, let me know your thoughts on it. Keep it civil down there. Also, links to all of my stuff is in the description below. Social medias, Patreon, um, mailbox to mail stuff, all, all kinds of things down there. Check that out. If you're on Vidme, upvote this. Give me a follow and share it around. And if you're on YouTube, like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. And I will see you on the next video.